What's going on, Nerd Army guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Nerds Marais. Today, guys, we're going to continue our journey into the fucked up world of Game of Thrones. Today, guys, we're going to continue with season number six, episode number five, titled The Door. So, guys, let's get right into this one. So we get to see Sansa breaking out the old pastime and sewing something that looks really fucking nice. Um, then we get to see Sansa get a note from Littlefinger and she goes to meet Littlefinger with the fucking walking tree, Brienne, right goddamn next to her. It's great. Get him, Brienne. She talks a bunch of shit how he gave her away and set her up with a fucking troll that just basically beat the shit out of her and raped her. And he claims to not know, but Littlefinger's a bitch. So we get to see Arya back at the House of Black and White. She's training again. She's getting her ass whooped again. Nothing fucking changes. And then Jockin calls her over and gives her a job. She is to kill an actress. And Arya said, you know, fuck it. Don't like actresses anyways. So she goes to do some recon. And she's in undercover watching the play in the crowd. And she actually finds out the play is about her motherfucking life. And it's fucked up. They're making fun of her dad. They're making fun of everyone. They even make fun of Tyrion. I even love the part where they make fun of Joffrey. It's the best. We see Arya follow the woman that she's going to have to kill and watches her routine, seeing what she does, what she drinks. And then she reports back to Jockin. And Jockin urges her to finish the motherfucking contract. It's already been paid for. Get your ass done, bitch. You get to see the three-eyed raven and Bran going on another motherfucking acid trip. Dropping fucking acid, tripping balls, touching the tree and going through time. This time they go back really fucking far back and we get to see the children of the forest with a human man tied to a fucking tree, tied to one of their trees, and they have a dragon glass blade in their hand and they walk up and they shove the dragon glass blade into his heart, creating the fucking Night King, you little motherfuckers. You created this son of a bitch and you blame men for being corrupt? You psycho little tiny green bastards. So then we get to see Theon back on the Iron Islands, petitioning for Yara to become the leader and saying he's got her back, he supports her, and petitioning for her to become the fucking leader of the Iron Islands. The rest of the group gets together and all these douchey men convey and they decide that a woman will not lead them and they decide to give it to Euron fucking Greyjoy, the goddamn douchebag pirate. The priest takes him through the whole motherfucking initiation of becoming the king of the Iron Islands. You have to drown in the seawater, take it into your lungs and then come back to life all on your fucking own. And if you do that, you become the leader of the Iron Islands and you get a fucking driftwood... God damn, crowd, really? A driftwood crowd? You can't afford some fucking iron? I don't know, you're the Iron Islands. Make a fucking iron crown. Why is it going to be driftwood? So all that shit went down, but while all that shit's going down, Theon and Yara do the smart thing, and they take some crew members with them, and they steal all the best motherfucking boats from the Iron Fleet, get the fuck out of there with their new fucking rides, and peace up Aton down. And what is fucking Euron Greyjoy? He turns to the people, he says, I know you just elected me, but now you need to build me thousands of ships. I'm not going to help. You're going to do it. Did we really elect this motherfucker? Yes, you did. It's a pirate's life for me. Danny, Jorah, and Dario are cruising through the desert. Danny now has a fucking army, but they have a little bit of a quiet time alone with the three of them, and Jorah reveals that he has grayscale. And Danny breaks down crying when he says that there's no cure and he's going to die and it's going to be painful. She breaks down and starts tearing up. She tells him, Fine, then what I want from you is I entrust you to go out there and find a fucking cure, and when you do, you come back to me. So Jorah was friend zone, then no zone, then kind of friend zone, then kind of no zone. Now, in the I can't live without you, go cure your uncurable disease and come back to me zone. So I'm thinking half friend zone, half maybe booty one day? You never know. So Tyrion decides he's going to do some more work in the motherfucking city of Marine, and he's going to try to push the religious figures of the city to promote Danny and to give her a better look to the people that they preach to. And I guess it's agreed upon. So Bran wakes up and everyone else is asleep under the tree, the three-eyed raven included. Everyone's passed the fuck out. Bran wakes up all by himself. He's like, you know what? All these other bitches are sleeping. 
I'm going for a journey by myself. And Bren drops that acid and grabs them trees again. And Bren is motherfucking off. So Bren appears out in the middle of the snow with a bunch of whites surrounding him and the Night King standing right fucking next to him and reaches out, grabs Bren's arm and the extreme pain he feels from the grasp of the Night King literally leaves a goddamn mark on his arm in real life and he wakes the fuck up and everyone knows and the fucking three-eyed raven sees the mark on his fucking arm and he's like you fucked up he knows where we're at now that's like a homing beacon he's coming and i'm like god damn it brand you impatient little prick so we get to see what sansa was working on earlier she presents john with a new cloak with the stark emblem emblazoned across the middle of it that is so awesome and so great that sansa is fully accepting him as a stark even though he's always been her brother now he's one of the last starks he's a stark in her mind they all start out Tormund still giving Brienne the fucking I want to fuck your face eyes and Brienne still looking like she's going to barf and I love it. So then Mira notices that there's some whites coming off the ridge. They get inside the tree to try to hide from him, but no, the Night King can get the fuck in there now. And they start heading in there and the whites are attacking. And so Bran quickly goes into Brandor, takes over Hodor's body and just starts fucking fighting them off and killing them and stuff. And then he grabs himself. He basically just picks up the fucking sled and starts just jamming, trying to get down this long hallway to this door at the end of the way and get the fuck out of there before they all die. And so obviously the three eyed Ravens fucking woke into that goddamn tree he ain't going nowhere but bran can get the fuck out so summer jumps in bran's wolf to protect him as hodor gets him the fuck out of there and summer is no match for the fucking whites they tear her ass apart god damn it another dire wolf is dead fuck it's like each episode we're losing dire wolf stop it we got three dragons kill one of them leave the wolves how stark so all the time that this is happening, Bran appears in a vision and then he gets to see the three-eyed raven in a vision. He's back in the vision where he saw young Ned Stark and young Hodor. And so he's sitting there, he's in this vision with him and he's basically trying to give him a warning like you got to you're you got to fly now. You got to just take the fuck off. This is what you got to do. Run your shit. You're the boss now. And then poof, three-eyed raven turns to dust cuz the night king just fucking killed him. Holy shit, three-eyed raven's gone. Bran is the motherfucking three-eyed raven. Still mobbing it with fucking Brandor. Getting the fuck out of there. They get to the door. Bran is still back in this pastime in his head, but he's still controlling Hodor. And he sees Hodor as a kid sitting there. And he hears out of the back of his head, he hears Mira scream, Hold the door! Hold the door! And Hodor pushes the door back, holding it. And he just starts screaming, Hold door! Hold the door! Hold the door! And then young Hodor is going, Hold the door! Hold door! Hold door! Hold door! He just kept screaming it over and over. He was motherfucking fucked up in the head and everything because of Bran. His name is Hodor, and the only motherfucking word he could say is Hodor because Bran got in his fucking head and fucked him all up. So Bran, time travel is a son of a bitch. So guys... This all ends with Hodor holding the door until everyone gets away. Mira drags his ass away and Hodor gets torn to fucking pieces. Hodor is dead. Fuck my life. And it's Bran's fault that he's been such a simpleton his entire life. Bran fucked with his mind in the goddamn past. Time travels a son of a bitch. Ain't you ever seen any movies? So guys, let me know what you guys thought about this episode. Like I said, the Hodor shit is fucked up. And that's one of the things that stood out the most to me. Another dire wolf died. Fuck that. Quit killing the dire wolves. I love the dire wolves. How stark for life. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts on this episode and my recap and review down in the comments down below. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with all the videos we put out every week. And I will see you guys next time right here on Nerds Marais for some more Game of Thrones. All right, guys, peace out. Thank you.